I want to start vlogging on outside of the reptile shows. We have this little crew called the Reptile Degenerates, Andy Jared. We actually used to have two other members on there, but... You wanna get down? <laughs> you wanna get down? No. What's up YouTube? Man, do I have another cool vlog today. We are gonna show you how we set up all of our hatchlings. We just hatched another awesome clutch, which I'm gonna show you guys in one second. And by the way guys, these are not my kids. Copa, YouTube. This is just a random Chick-fil-A bag. And here's another random Chick-fil-A bag. They're they're just random bags. This is not Aubrey at all, and this is not Ace. Yeah, guys, we do have a YouTube channel called Ace and Aubrey, and can you guys please check it out and subscribe? Please. Information's gonna be in the description down below for these Chick-fil-A random bags that are just floating. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, that is just too funny. But guys, what did you guys think of that custom doghouse? Man, the whip spot is amazing. Could you believe they did that? I can't wait till they bring the next crate in here. I mean, it's gonna be epic. So guys, before we get to this vlog, for all you new people getting into the reptile industry, make sure for all of your reptile needs, make sure you guys go check out Superior Shipping Supply, information on the description down below, and their handle's gonna be right here. And also guys, make sure you guys go follow Campfire Arts to win one of the last three or four swords that are available. And guys, I'm gonna give you a quick little glimpse of the sword that I have over here, and I'm still waiting for my Medusa sword. So guys, go give them a follow, and join in all that fun. And Tina didn't want to go and show it until we had mounted it up and just, let me show you guys how awesome these swords are. So Turtle, you want to take it off real quick? Sure, because it's magnetic. Dig, magnet Ooh. girl. <laughs> so you see these things just screw on very easily. They both have magnets. And this has it right in the back. And turn it the other way around. And as you guys could see right there, look at all this artwork, man. It says right here, don't tread on me. You guys remember that Metallica song, right? Metallica, right? Metallica. Yeah, and dude, Mark again at Campfire Arts. This thing is amazing, man. And turn it over. Check this out, man. So we have Campfire Arts right there. They have Always Evolving Pythons and Turtle. For sure, yeah. dude, man, I'm telling you guys, go follow them, it's amazing. Also, my tattoo's done. And I got the whole, um, when I saw the Medusa swords, I was like, oh my gosh, man, this is just insane. This will be a good tattoo idea. So I went ahead and I did it, and check this out. Looks like my version of Medusa. Look at that. It's so crazy. I'm telling you guys, go follow them. Okay, so now I'm gonna go get a little tub ready for them and show you. Now I'm gonna show you guys how we put these babies away. Hey, Rogesters. Hey, let's go do a uh, MTV Cribs and go show us your house. Come on, go show us your house. Hey, you guys need to clean up after yourself. Man, sick ass bad room. Come on, get in there. Yeah, you listen. You're a cool listening dog. You're a cool listening dog. You're a cool listening dog. Ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> Good job, Patchers. Holy moly, do we have the crew here? Hey, what are you watching? What are you watching? What are you watching? That like XXX? You watch that XXX? <laughs> hey, bro. You're watching that XXX, weren't you, bro? Bro, now that I'm feeling better, you're back bro. bothering me, huh? Now you're bothering me again. Yeah, you watching that XXX? What, what's XXX? Oh, I know. <laughs> you were watching that XXX, weren't you? No. Where you were, huh? No. Hey. Hey, cochinos, man. So obviously, you guys can see I'm over here back in the room. And I have my nephew here that doesn't love me. He gets mad at me because I pick on them and I'm always on top of him because I want him to do great, but he could care less. He's just one of those kids. I mean, I should probably just literally beat the living. You want to get down? You want to get down? No. That's right. You want to get down? No. Okay, so guys, real quick, this is what I'm going to do. So I grab an empty tub and I slam the pizza! <laughs> <laughs> Joking, oh, guys. Funny. So what I'll do is I will wash this out before, and this is before I take the little. Um, I've had way too much caffeine. I'm apologizing right now. But <laughs> you want to help us out, real quick? No, bro. That way, that in the mood you're in. Come on, dude. I can I can only deal with you for like about a good five minutes. You're like at two minutes so far, bro. So you got three minutes. Huh? All right. So real quick. So we watch this real quick. So you want me to watch it? <laughs> no, I got it. Bro. I got it. So guys, excuse the mess right now. It's because my brother's over here getting the clean on. As always, man, making everything. The best he could because he's a man. Right, big dog? Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, right there, Jesse already helped me out and clean this out. So, what I do is I'll grab some paper towels from right here. See, so I'll grab, oh, yeah, three. I have, to I have to hold the camera, so it's a little hard for me. Probably Jesse, hold the yeah, the well, just, just right here, big home. Just right there. Okay, so I just fold these out like this, put this in the back, then I grab two more. 
put these in the front. And actually I'm very OCD, so I usually like the top to be here and then there. And then I turn on the water and I go, bam. Okay, so now what I do is now that it's, you know, really damp, really wet in here, I'm gonna put it back in here. So now, what'll happen is I'll put all the information right here, but what's, what's gonna happen, it's gonna warm up, so when I put the babies back here, it's already gonna be warm, it's not gonna be cold from the cold water. So we'll leave it here for about an hour or two, and I'll go show you guys the babies until we bring them out and sex them. All right, so it's been a few hours already, and like I said, this thing right here is ready, nice and warm, and very, very damp for the new little hatchlings. So let's go check out this clutch and get these little guys in here. I have a special guest that's gonna be helping me film. Only problem is we can't show that special guest just cause, well you guys know why from earlier. So as you guys can see, here's the clutch card. Blade clown, bred to a hypo black pastel clown. So everything here is gonna be obviously a clown and it's gonna be 100% hypo. So let's see what we have. And everybody came out of their eggs already. Look at that, man. I don't know about you guys, but I see a lot of black pastels in there. Black pastel clowns. So what I like to do is I like to grab each one, rinse it off with some water, sex it, and then put it in the little tub. That's why I'm gonna do that with all of them, just so you can see what our sex ratio is. Hopefully we get a lot of females though, because a lot of these black pastel clowns, hit hypos I will be keeping. So let's cross those fingers, guys. All right, so let's get this started. This is actually a really pretty clown. It definitely came out blade. Um, very, very reduced pattern. It could be the hat hypo that's really influencing this bad boy, but let's see what we have right here. All right, so we just rinsed her off, and the first one's going to be a female. Nice, man, and a very beautiful female. All right, one down so far. So I'm gonna go through all the normal clowns real quick. And then I'll get to the black pastel. Those are the ones I'm really excited to see if we have a male or a female. I mean, those are the ones I'm really excited to see what the sex ratio is. And as you can see, this clone looks a little more different. It has more little, little more alien heads on it. More little dots all over it. The other one's very cleaned up. So let's check this one out. All right, now that this one's washed up, let's see what we have. And another female. Wow, man. Watch all the normals come out females and all the males come out black pastel clowns. That would suck. I mean, I'd still be happy, but I'd still be a little upset. All right, two females. All right, so I believe this would be the last one, the last normal, and everything else would be black pastels. There's some crazy looking black pastels in here, though. That's for sure. All right, so the last normal. Wow, another female. So far, we have three clown, female, 100% head hypos. And these things are really pretty, man. Look at these things. Things are really, really nice. Wow. All right, let's hope we uh, get the same one with the black pastels. All right, let's start off with this one right here, which this one's kind of crazy. If you look at this one, let's see. Man, they're just all tangled up. Sorry, little guys. If you compare this one to that one, look how different the darkness is. Look at the head on this one, man. That is amazing. All right, and they're pretty orange too. Love it. All right, let's get these guys going. First black pastel clown, 100% hit hypo to get sex. Watch this be a boy. And of course, we have a boy. Yay. Black pastel clown hit hypo, cool. No, I'm just playing. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you guys, all these things are going to be boys. Watch, just my luck. All right, let's get this one up. Man, this one's really pretty. Look at this one. Put the head on that one. Second black pastel to go. Look at that head stamp, man. Well, that non-head stamp, but look how faded it is. That is so pretty, man. Really digging this one. It has to be the hypo that's influencing it. Yes, and we have a female. So far we have four females and one male. Third black pastel. Look at this one. This one's very orange and light brown. So crazy, man, the variation of these bad boys. All right, guys, so here we go. The third one. Let's hope this one right here. Look how white it is on this. Man, this is probably my favorite one so far. Come on, be a girl. Oh, wow. Another girl. So that is one, two, three, four, five girls and one boy. And I'm going to double check this once the camera is down just to make sure. But man, I'm pretty, 
I mean, I'm pretty good at sex in these things, so. All right, let's. All right, the last one. Camera non kid. Uh, what do you think it is, a boy or a girl? Make sure you disguise your voice. It's a boy. So the seventh snake, which again is another black pastel with the crazy little. This one has a nice little head pattern on it. Let's see what we have. And now, and uh, camera person, you said it's a boy. Yeah. Let's see. Wow. Oh my goodness. That is another girl. I can't believe that, man. Let me double check. Yep, that is another female. Oh my gosh. Those are some great sex odds right there. Let me clean this up and I'm gonna bring out the whole clutch real quick. Here is the whole clutch once again. So we pretty much have all the normals back over here. And then the black pastels right there. That one came out really, really dark. Really digging that one. But yeah, seven eggs, four black pastel hit hypos, and three normal hit hypos. Man, you can't beat those odds, man. And again, one male and six females. I'm about to resex all of them again just to make sure. Then I'll get you guys another close up on these bad boys. All right, all that's needed is to put some water in there. Put that in there. Again, one more look at this beautiful clutch. So insane, man. Great odds. Man, it is so hot in here. But man, what about those snakes right there? Talk about some amazing odds. So guys, it's another cool thing is that today I just realized, I was just looking at the board, that today is our pairing day. I was a little backed up because Super Bowl had a lot of fun, but we are about to do some amazing pairings. You guys are gonna see what I also do. You're about to see some sick pairings. And what I do before I put a male in with the female. And like I tell you guys, it always works for me. I've been doing this for three years now, so I'm definitely a pro almost three years so that makes me 100% a pro so just playing but guys also before we get to that because I am gonna need Tina's help because she's the ones gonna be doing all the pairings what I want to talk to you guys about is I want to start vlogging on outside of the reptile shows like what we actually really do outside of the reptile shows and what makes it so much fun going to these reptile shows and you know meeting these new people having new friends like I said we have this little crew called the reptile degenerates Andy Jared and man I cannot wait to see these guys again it's it's Harry from Royal Canvas Exotic Will from Royal Canadian Reptile Matt from Matt Byram Exotics and sometimes we feature Jared at Axe Silent Sea Reptiles make sure you guys go check all them out and Chris Graham's kind of a little bit a part of it but what we do guys is we actually used to have two other members on there but the kitchen got a little too hot they couldn't really hang with us anymore which I miss one of them a lot um, the other one's just, we were too rowdy, too crazy for that person. But again, man, the more the merrier. We love to hang out with everyone. We love to party. But I will be putting these videos up and it is going to be an age restriction. So you guys can really see what we do when we get to these reptile shows. I'll vlog that part and then what we do outside of the reptile show. So I'm telling you guys, it's going to be some straight raw, raw footage. So comment down below guys if you guys are interested in seeing that kind of stuff right there. But now I'm going to go grab the turtle and then start these pairings up. So we have to get our water hose ready. Turn this bad boy on. Make sure we uh, put it on mist. Bam. And now time to look at some snakes. Dates. Right? <laughs> Snake dates, yes. So as you guys can see right here we have a bamboo clown. And she was paired with the spot nose, red stripe, yellow belly, and we passed the due date on them because I believe she was in shed and uh, next time he was, but their last lockup was at 12:16. And there she is right there. So what we do is we grab this here real quick, just get a nice little light spray. So we have the awesome turtle bringing this awesome male. Again, right here we have a spot nose, red stripe yellow belly clown so what would it be awesome to hear right here would be a bamboo spot nose red stripe yellow belly clown all right turrets mcgurts and we're missing one thing clip right there just so we know that there's a male in the bin bam all right time to look for some more dates this next female is an inchy kingpin het clown look how beautiful she is Ooh, and she's even doing some bowl wrapping Dang, that is beautiful. And the male we'll be pairing up with her is this Black Pastel Hypo Clown. He's the one that sired that clutch I just showed you guys. Mm-hmm. Put the clip on for you. 
All right, we got two down. Thank you. And then also what we do, guys, is we leave both of the tubs out just so we know what males are getting used and we get no confusion. And I believe this should be their last lock. And right here we're gonna be putting a red striped clown. He'll be leaving next week to someone. He's gonna be doing a lot of work over there. So, put these in. Next one is this leopard ivory. And she's breeding to a super gravel. A nice little look at her. Definitely wanted to get some leopard gravels, leopard highways. That'll be insane. All right, tortoise. This bad boy right there. Grab the water hose. Right, this is another cool one. I missed the odds on this one last season. A pastel extreme gene head sunset female. Big, big girl. And we all know who she's getting, right? None other than the sunset. Than the sunset. Here you go, buddy. That guy's dude, he's been doing some mad work. Okay, and this next one I'm actually really excited about is a chocolate desert ghost. A chocolate desert ghost ghost. So if you want to make it easier, chocolate desert ghost hypo. And she isn't shed, but we're still gonna give it a go. Well, actually, she's yeah, she's going into shed. And check out the male we're pairing up to this bad girl. And right here we have an orange dream yellow belly desert ghost head hypo. So the cool thing about this pairing is if we were able to hit a everything will be desert ghost and we will get some hypo and everything else will be head hypo. But if we could hit a chocolate orange dream yellow belly desert ghost, whoo, hypo that would be insane. I'd call it the turtle. And right here we have a banana Mojave hypo. And we are gonna be breeding the mandarin het hypo you guys know how excited i am about this mandarin hypo stuff could you imagine hitting a mandarin banana mojave hypo or a banana mandarin hypo or just a mojave mandarin hypo dude it's gonna be insane here's another one that i'm really excited about we have a pastel yellow belly inchy g-nex pied and look how vibrant she is, man. And her follicle growth is pretty high. I believe she's now around 13 millimeters. And we're going to be breeding a Cypress 100% head pied that we hatched over here. This should be a pretty cool pairing, man. As long as we can hit that Cypress pied, man, that's going to be insane. And this last one right here is this, is this beautiful dreamsicle. And we're going to be breeding this, this leopard clown pied to her. So everything will be pied and it'll be double head lavender clown. So that should be pretty cool, man. Pied, visual pied, double head lavender clowns. All right, and that's it. As you can see, these are all the males that are out right now that are going to be, they'll be working for tonight. And then we're going to come here tomorrow morning and grab our marker ready and then go through all the tubs that have a little clip. And hopefully, hopefully we have those lockups, man. And also, I do not drop any temps. I just keep my room the same as I always do, which goes from anywhere from 79 to 81 at the most ambient temperature. Humidity right now is around 73, but that's pretty much it. I don't drop no temps on the thermostats or as ambient temperature. So it's been working for us. So I hope that's what we're gonna keep on doing over here. As always guys, we appreciate all of the support. Till next time, deuce.